Hey guys, this is Tim from Top Low Reviews, and today I have a review of the over-ear headphones called the HT21s from Me Electronics, and uh, these are known as one of the best headphones in their class, being $40 to $50 over-ear headphones. Uh, I really like these headphones. I advise you guys to stick around for the rest of the review, review because these are very surprising headphones for their price. And uh, first of all, I'd just like to thank Mike from Me, Le Me Electronics from, for sending these out free of charge for review purposes. That was really nice of you guys. And uh, just make sure you guys stick around for the rest of the video. That's pretty much it for this part. Roll the intro. One of the cool things about this product is that you get this case that comes with it. It's a, as you guys can see from the picture, it is a raincoat-like material, which covers your uh, headphones pretty well. It's actually waterproof, uh, as it is made from the same material as raincoats, as I just said. Uh, but on the top, as you guys can see, there is a hole in it, so if you do drop it in complete water, it's not going to protect it because it is a drawstring opening on the top. As you guys can see, it covers your headphones pretty darn well, and I really like it because it was not really necessary for the company to include this, but it's very nice and I really like free stuff that comes with my products. The next thing I like to talk about is the overall build quality and uh, how well this, these, pair, this, these headphones are made. So as you guys can see right here, the ear cup is a circular ear cup uh, with some cool design on the inside that says uh, Me Electronics and it says HD21 underneath it. And uh, as moving on to the ear cups, you guys can see it's a nice full leather ear cup. It's actually some pretty nice leather. Uh, well, it's not real leather, but it's actually pretty nice. It's very durable and I really do like it. Then it has the... Uh, uh, pop filter on the inside of it, which uh, on on good headphones they have a good pop filter, and I do really like this pop filter on uh, these headphones. They do a pretty good job, and I really like it. And on, as you guys can see right now, uh, the headband is also made out of leather, and uh, it's pretty nice, but it's a little thin. I would like to see a little thicker, but it's okay though because uh, they feel pretty comfortable, and I really do like them. Uh, right here, you guys can see the R uh, symbolizing that it is indeed the uh, right ear, uh, which is pretty nice so you know which uh, ear to go on, to put it on. Right here you guys can see that uh, the cool thing about these headphones is that they have this hinge which makes them very portable. I have one flipped up, one flipped down so I, I can demonstrate easily to you guys what it looks like. Uh, that, that hinge works pretty well and it makes uh, for a very portable headphone. I'm just showing the hinge right here at a very closer angle. Uh, it's pretty nice and you're not going to have any issues with it really. Uh, right here, you guys can actually a 3.5 millimeter stereo gold plated 45 degree plug, which is actually pretty cool because it pumps out some great sound. I really do like these, especially because they're gold plated on such cheap headphones. Well, not cheap, inexpensive because these things are monsters. I'll go over that later when I go over sound. But uh, that's just a pretty cool uh, addition because they are 45 degrees at a 45 degree angle, which means they'll fit into most cases and they'll also uh, be uh, pretty uh, portable. I mean, like uh, they won't be in your way because they are angled, which is awesome, and I really do like that. As some size comparisons to some other popular headphones, uh, but uh, right now I'm actually going to talk about sound quality and my overall opinion on these things, because uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, these have 40 millimeter uh, dynamic drivers, which means they need some breaking in, so if you listen to them like right out of the box, they're not going to sound the greatest, but if you listen to them for a good two hours or so, or just leave them plugged into your uh, iPod or iPhone with some music playing, they'll break in pretty nicely, and the bass and everything won't be as distorted as they would when you first get them, that's what dynamic drivers do, and uh, it's pretty cool actually because uh, these have some of the best sound I've actually ever heard on uh, portable headphones. I mean, I've listened to some studio headphones which are actually uh, pretty uh, pretty similar to these. These are really nice headphones, guys. Uh, the um, the uh, the sound stage is actually pretty equal. Uh, everything uh, everything is equal across the board except for the bass. I'd like to see a little more bass on these, but with a uh, with an equalizer, I'm sure you could uh, pump it up just a little bit. Uh, I haven't really tried it much on my equalizer, but uh, I'm sure it'll work fine because these things are pretty nice headphones. Uh, with dynamic drivers, you're gonna get some really good sound quality, and I really do like the sound quality output of these uh, things of these headphones, sorry. Uh, these also have a one year warranty which I thought that I would also uh, throw in there because uh, these are these don't look the most durable. 
Uh, but they also do put in a one-year warranty if you're skeptical. But I, these things are not going to break, guys. They're pretty flexible metal, and uh, I really do like it. Uh, they're, they're pretty awesome, guys. I recommend these to pretty much anyone out there. If you're going to be doing some amateur recording, these are pretty nice. I would recommend something a little high, like a higher price, like uh, some uh, Bose Quiet, I mean, noise canceling threes, maybe uh, some Sennheisers. But these are pretty awesome for some entry level entry level recording headphones. I really do like these. If they would have, if they would have uh, included a uh, What's it called? Uh, one of those like studio jacks that you can plug into a uh, a bigger output. I mean, uh, yeah, output. Then uh, it would it would be a little better. But I really do like these as an entry level uh, recording headphones because these are super nice. They're super flat. They they have a super flat sound stage. I really really do like these headphones. Definitely go out and buy these guys. They're only forty nine ninety nine, which is an amazing price for what you get with these headphones. And I recommend them to absolutely anyone. I know I said that about three times. But these are absolutely incredible. I really do like these. Go pick them up today. I will provide the link in the description. And if you like videos like this, make sure you head over to my channel. Well, I'm actually going to be giving one of these away eventually. Don't come in the video saying that you want the giveaway product. I know you do, but uh, the giveaway video will be coming soon after I announce the winners to my other giveaways, uh, which will be pretty soon also. I will be announcing them on Twitter. If you want to follow me, you can uh, follow me on Twitter, which is uh, twitter.com slash I am to the great, or uh, you can just uh, my Twitter handle is at uh, I am Tim the Great, and uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Go check out my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.